Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today's video, I wanted to share my thoughts on the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag and the micro size backpack in the three liter size. I think that's the name of it, but I'll pop it down below. I recently got both of these items because I was contemplating on both actually uh, for different purposes. And I noticed that I had to do separate uh, YouTube video searches to see reviews on both items. And I thought it might be useful to do a comparison, uh, show what fits inside, and give my thoughts on some pros and cons for each. So let's go through the backpack first, which I have used for about two weeks now. Not extensive uh, usage, but enough to share some thoughts on it. So I'll quickly go through the construction of it. So it's the mini size. It's a three liter in size, so it uh, retails $78 in the U.S. It has a main compa compartment like a, a traditional backpack and a bottom compartment here. When you open the top here, you'll see there's a mesh back pocket, which is sort of like the top half, and it has an elastic band to hold the items in place, and it does run all the way down to the bag. In the front side, it also has a mesh pocket to slip in you know, keys or smaller items, and it does run to the bottom as well. So that's pretty much it in terms of the construction of the inside of the bag, and it has the nice Lululemon plaque over here. The front here has a bottom pocket, which opens all the way around the bag, and it's just a simple front pocket here. The back allows you to wear this as a traditional backpack style. Of course, this is a mini backpack, so it would look quite small on, on an adult. Uh, it's, I, I would compare it to maybe like a, the Palm Springs mini backpack from Louis Vuitton, but obviously this is nylon. It's probably smaller than it. I don't have that bag, but it reminded me of it. Um, and it can also convert into a crossbody version of a bag. So, show you here the strap goes this long and it works for me i would not really use it as a backpack because for me i feel like I, I look a little silly with it i use this as a crossbody bag but it's convenient if you really need to have um the the bag away from you uh, for a brief moment you can put it on your back and you also have this little cute handle that you can just hold it uh, and the, the strap sort of dangles like so if you don't really have time to like, you know, put it cross back. So no issues with the strap at all. It, it is somewhat adjustable. So if you want it to be a little bit shorter, you'll have to adjust this um, loop here to be lower, but then the bag uh, might be somewhat like this, or sorry, higher, but then you'll have the strap sort of sticking out like that. So depends on your height and your comfort level in terms of how long the, the bag will sit on you. Uh, one, there's two cons that I can think of. One con is the, the size of the front pocket here, and it is quite small. At first, I was really hoping it would at least fit a card holder. So here I have my Chanel caviar skin um, card holder in the gold hardware that I was hoping would fit in here. Now, you can see it really doesn't. Even if I try to push it down, it it would uh it it might fit actually but it would definitely scratch the leather of the card holder so i would say no it does not fit a card holder you can probably put credit cards in it so here let's just try it out i have a few gift cards from well i have one gift card from petco so here it does fit a credit card if you just put the credit card in here you can see it does have room and it, there's a little bit of space and you can zip it up very easily but it, it is you know not the best place to put it in my opinion because you know a credit card can, can easily fall out um people could get into it although it might be hard to unzip the whole thing but just to show that it does fit um a credit card size what i've used it 
recently for is putting a pack of small tissues in here. So it does fit well here. You can put a lip balm or maybe a very small hand cream, just something small and narrow that can lay flat on the side. I have a Purell hand sanitizer. This is one fluid ounce. I wouldn't really put it like this, but just to show it does fit like that laying on the side. Uh, of course, it, if your cap isn't secure, it can easily spill into the bag. Okay, so that's con number one, uh, but I think I would try to make it work because I think this is a very good everyday casual bag if you don't want to be too loud or have any um, very high-end bags uh, roaming around in the city or anything like that. So I thought this would be good for you know quick um, runs to the supermarket, um, even going on short uh, road trips if I don't want to bring anything too fancy. The second con, which I've heard many people complain about, is the noise of the zipper. So when I zip it up like this, these two zippers, of course, will have to come together and it jangles like that. Now, when I've walked around, I do hear it. it it's not really a big issue for me, uh, but sometimes it could get annoying, especially like if you're walking around like in the library or something, you hear these jingle together. Now, one thing I've, I was trying out a little bit was potentially p moving it. So if your bag is full, and I, I will, I'll put some things in it later just to show if it's, if your bag is full and you zip it up top like this, it still jingles, but you can see you can make a little bit of a groove here. So if I put the zipper to the side a little bit, sometimes that helps. So it would, may actually be better if I stop it. It helps a little bit, but I do leave a tiny bit of a gap. So the zippers really won't hit each other. Now let's actually try to fill the bag um, because that will really show what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, so if I open it like so, because the height is a decent size, I can fit my Chanel envelope um, case, I guess you could call it. it. It comes with my vintage Chanel camera bag, which I've done a video on already, so you can check back in my recent videos. It does fit very nicely and easily just down like this, and you can see it still has room on the top, uh, so it sits right below the plaque, just to give you an idea. So in this, I usually put cash um, and some spare, not spare, like extra credit cards because I don't really use a full-size wallet. I guess you could call this the full-size wallet, but because it's so thin, I like using this and it's easy access to cash and everything. Um, if I have extra gift cards or I, I carry like my Costco card here or just any random cards, um, I just put that together here and it fits nicely. Uh, I always use my card holder, which has the main credit cards I use. I reason I put the cards in the, the envelope here is because I don't want to stretch this out so much. So I just have one card in the front, one here in the bottom slip, and two here. And in the middle, I put my driver's license and license and registration. So I just fold it up like so. So I always bring this out no matter what. So if I'm going out for like a quick uh, run to the supermarket or just a very quick um, trip out to run some errands. I would just bring this and probably my cell phone and my car keys, that's it. Um, I wouldn't even bring this, depending on where I go and what I need to do. I would maybe swap out some cards. Okay, so this fits the envelope. I usually always carry my mini pochette because it just has my you know essentials in terms of like hand cream, lip balm, wipes, whatnot. It can fit like, uh, horizontally like this it, it's pretty comfortable it sits well like this or you can stand it up either way uh, so let's just lay it down like that so there is still some room in the front because it, it, it's a little bit expandable so what I try to carry these days is um, a reusable bag this is very squishable I featured this in, in previous videos because in New York now if you're just buying a little thing, most of the time they charge you for a, uh, a paper bag. I mean, I don't mind paying five cents, but I end up collecting like 
10, 15, 20 bags and I don't even know what to do with it. So I just carry this, uh, kind of squish it in the back like so. It does fit or, or I can lay it on top of the mini pochette. I mean, it's squishable, so it really doesn't matter. Um, this is a, a little coin purse I got, very inexpensive from Urban Outfitters many years ago. I'm sure you can find something similar like this. I don't even think this is leather, but because it's just carrying coins, I wanted to use something inexpensive, so this can fit in front here. I like to put my card holder in the front like this. So if I'm carrying the bag and it's on my body like this and I open it up, it's easy access to get my card holder. And it kind of protects the leather as well. Okay, and I usually carry some sunglasses. So this would lay on top like this, or maybe diagonally. It, it fits like this as well. So I zip this up. And I also have my uh, tissues. So let's just put the tissue here. So now because I laid the mini pochette um, horizontally, it does require a little bit of work to put the tissues in. But because, again, because the tissues are soft, it, I don't really care if I'm like squishing it into the bag. Um, the hand sanitizer, I will put that in, in front here and lay it standing up. So I would probably stick it in the corner like that. So you can see the cap is standing up. So now you can see the bag is quite full. And like I said before, when I'm carrying it, um, when you're carrying it and you're carrying it cross body like this, it starts, sometimes it starts to dip in here like that. So again, the zippers will be trapped like that and you'll hear the jingle. But what I've tried to do is leave it on the side, have a little bit of a, a, a hole here, maybe the, you know, the width of a finger and it still jingles a little bit but at least it's not zipper to zipper but it's more the zipper to the the handle of the zipper to the zipper itself still a little bit noisy but not as bad as when it's like this sometimes actually i notice that if the if the dip is deeper it doesn't even make any noise because it's right next to each other unless you're walking around like that a lot. So just something to keep in mind. I know it bothers some people. It doesn't really bother me a whole lot. If I am in a very quiet place and I need to, you know, be quiet, I would probably just pull it apart a little bit like this. And yeah, it, it does still have the noise because of, you know, the, the construction of the zipper, but just warning <laughs> for you to think about and keep in mind if you're gonna buy this bag. But other than that, um, I, I really like it because it is a little bit water resistant, it carefree because it's black and it is very light. It does fit my essentials and more. So that's sort of my little mini review on this bag. And I think it's very useful just for everyday use and very uh, different from other bags that I have. Now this one is the Everywhere Belt Bag. I haven't even cut the tags off because I'm still deciding if I should keep it. I think I will. I mean, it's you can see here it's only $38. This is the black on black size. Um, I have wanted to have something literally very, very close to my body and be able to potentially like wear a, a coat over it. So I wouldn't really use this as an actual belt bag. I would lay it across my body. So this part is against my chest. Depending on where I go, you know, if, uh, sometimes if I'm going out, I just want to be really hands-free. I don't even want to have a bag shown um, that I'm carrying, uh, depending on where I go. Um, and so I thought this would be useful because it's just something small, close to your body, lightweight, that can be used to just travel. Um, <clears throat> hopefully we will be able to travel again soon. And if that were to happen, I would probably use this as sort of like my everyday essentials bag where I'm carrying like the passports around, um, cash or credit cards. Um, if, if you're going to a place that's not particularly safe, I mean, not like anywhere is really safe these days, um, a lot of crazy things happening. At least I would have 
my valuables and my family's valuables in this belt bag so of course I, i'm sure this will fit a passport so i would i would traditionally use this if i was traveling to put passports cash credit cards maybe the hotel keys things like that that i want to keep against my body at all times so that's the reason why i got this and i haven't of course been able to travel yet but i'll keep i'll give this a, a test run and just see how it works if i'm just bringing it out for uh, a random errand running or uh, just going out and just don't want to carry too much okay so you see this is uh, a belt bag so the construction here has this uh, buckle that you can just easily put on and off it is adjustable so when i wear it cross body i would just slide this little loop to the longest setting so it can fit across my body in the back we have a zipper pocket which would be very nice to put very sensitive items and of course the front has this pocket so it's very simple and again similar to the backpack it has a mesh pocket here in the back and in the front it has two divided pockets like this okay so if i were to go out um i would of course bring my card holder which will fit very nicely i would put probably put it in the back like that so it's easy to grab and i don't have to rummage through it but honestly there's not much space to even have to find it so this you know probably a little hand sanitizer again because we still unfortunately need that a lot um this i actually tried making it fit it technically does uh just perfectly and I'll, I'll try to show it actually i won't close the bag because i feel like the corners of the lambskin will get caught against the bag so if i can zip this part okay but when i get to this part you can see here it sticks out a little bit um, so if i really really must have it fit it can but i would probably just take the cash out and the cards probably could put the cash in the back and the cards in in like the front pocket standing up uh, so i would not use this even though it would be nice if it could fit if it's a tiny bit bigger but then it then it will make the bag big okay so i would probably bring because it's winter you know these days my kids have the sniffles a lot carry some tissue like that um, it can fit of course the coins Actually, I think it can even fit the mini pochette. I haven't even tried, to be honest. But yeah, it does fit. But again, it, it really sort of defeats the purpose. Uh, it will make it a little bulky, which is, I guess it's fine, but it will just look like a big sack in front of my chest. Um, so if I was really trying to go minimal, I would even take the things out of the mini pochette that I would normally use, which these days has really been my hand cream and my lip balm uh, i have some wipes for you know my kids glasses so i would just stick that in there maybe a random hair tie maybe some headache medicine like that so i i mean this these things because it's so small i would definitely put this in the front pocket like this and actually put the let's put the the card holder in the back okay keep that isolated like that so it's easy to get to uh, i would probably put some, fold up some cash and put it in here but just to show you know randomly what can fit stand this up probably put this laying down and these items can easily fit into the side pocket like this the front pocket just to show you know the, these would be like the bare essentials um, I can probably have this standing up as well. It's just easier to get to. Yeah. Uh, sunglasses, if I really wanted to, I can technically lay this down like that. Um, and it will make it a little bit bulky, but again, depends on you know what you really find essential to carry. Here, I probably wouldn't carry the sunglasses and I would probably hook it onto my shirt or something. Um, so if I just have these items, you can see it's it's pretty, still very slim. So if I zip it up, 
it's not very bulky at all. And because, you know, some of it are, are tissues, it, it really doesn't take the full width of the bag. You can see the base, it can expand a little bit. So this is probably what I would tr actually bring when traveling um, and keep things close to my body. So um, I, instead of these items, probably put the passports, just something slim like paperwork or anything. And these items, I would probably have to actually carry the the mini backpack is a cross body bag. It, it might look a little weird, but uh, when we're traveling, I just want this close to my body to protect my valuables. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you just to she see what randomly fits, um, how you can utilize it, and how I plan to utilize both bags. And yeah, if you have any of these, let me know how they work out for you. And if you use it in any different ways or different situations. Um, so hope you enjoyed this. Please share, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thanks and have a great day. And Merry Christmas for those that celebrate and happy holidays. Thank you. Bye.